Hi. Now, in this question, we've got the functions f and g are defined for all real values of x by f of x equaling x squared plus 4ax plus a squared and g of x equaling 4x minus 2a, where a is a positive constant. And in this part, we're given that fg of 3 equals 69 and find the value of a and hence find the value of x such that the inverse function of g of x equals x. So I'll give you a moment just to pause the video if you'd like to have a go at this. Do come back when ready and I'll run through the work solution. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Well, first of all, before I can work with fg of 3 equals 69, to help me find the value of a, I've got to work out what fg of x is in general. So that's my starting point, fg of x. And this is going to be f of g of x, and g of x is 4x minus 2a. Which means that wherever I see an x now, in f of x, I replace it with 4x minus 2a. So we're going to have in place of x squared, 4x minus 2a, all squared. And then we've got plus 4x, so that's going to be plus 4a. And again, in place of x, I'm going to write 4x minus 2a. And then we have the constant plus a squared on the end there. All I need to do now is just expand the first bracket. So expanding this will give me 4x all squared, which is 16x squared. The product of the two terms is minus 8ax, so I'll just double that now, and that's minus 16ax. And then the last term squared is going to be plus 4a squared. Expand this bracket now, and I'm going to get plus 16ax, and then minus 8a squared and then plus a squared on the end there. And if I simplify this, I've just got the 16x squared, the ax terms, minus 16ax and 16ax, they cancel one another out. Then I've got 4a squared minus 8a squared plus a squared, and that gives me minus 3a squared. Okay, so I've got fg of x now in terms of x. And we're given that fg of 3 equals 69, so we should be able to find a from this. So I'll just say that since fg of 3 equals 69, then therefore all I've got to do is replace the x here with the 3. So I'm going to get 16 times 3 squared minus 3a squared, and that's going to equal 69. So 16 times 3 squared, 16 times 9, that's 144. So you've got 144 minus 3a squared equals 69. And if I subtract 69 from both sides and add 3a squared to both sides, I end up with 3a squared equals 144 take away 69, which is 75. Divide now both sides by 3, and that gives me a squared equals 25. And to get a, I just need to take the square root of 25. So we just come down here, and a would be equal to plus or minus 5. But I know that a is a positive constant, so I'll just say here a is greater than 0, so therefore we end up with a equaling 5. So find the value of a, done that, a equals 5. And hence find the value of x such that the inverse function of g of x is equal to x. Well, before I can work out the inverse function of g of x, I need to get g of x. And I can see it's 4x minus 2a. But a is 5, so we can work off that. OK, let's just come down here. We know that when a equals 5, g of x is going to be equal to 4x minus 2a, so it's now going to be minus 2 times 5, which is 10. Now I can get the inverse function of g of x just by 
saying let x equal and wherever I see an x here on the right hand side just write a y so we get 4y minus 10 and I rearrange this to make y the subject and if I rearrange this by adding 10 to both sides 4y would equal x plus 10 and then divide both sides by 4 we end up y equaling x plus 10 all over 4. So that means that the inverse function of g of x okay, is equal to x plus 10 divided by 4. And I now know that this equals x. So we'll just say that when the inverse function g of x equals x, we get x plus 10 divided by 4 equals x. And if I multiply both sides by 4, I get x plus 10 equals 4x. Subtract x from both sides, I therefore get 3x equals 10. And I can see if I divide now both sides by 3, it follows that x equals 10 thirds. Okay, 